Hello, everyone, and welcome to our April webinar. I'm Denise, your host for today's session. Before we get started, we'll do just some very brief housekeeping. Get us there. Uh, please know first by that, but by default, everyone is muted upon joining the session. And if you'll take a look at your control panel, there is a section at the bottom here. You should be seeing something close to what I'm displaying. Here is where questions can be typed. And you can type in your questions at any time during the webinar. And then when we get to the questions and answer session, I'll read the questions aloud in the order they were received. And when the replay of today's session is available, all questions and their answers will be posted along with the replay. And that is it for housekeeping. I will now hand off to Olena, our architect extraordinaire, if you're ready. Olena? Yes, thank you, Denise. Hello and welcome, everyone. We started this year with a series of webinars about efficient inventory management in QED. So far we have talked about reviewing and maintaining inventory details, analyzing inventory balances and transferring it between different locations, managing floor stock with unplanned receipt and issues, and monitoring component demands and replenishing their stock levels. We try to show how you can bring your inventory management to the next level by adding efficiency and visibility to its various processes. If you missed previous webinars, you can find their replays on our website. Today, we will continue our inventory series and talk about inventory counts. Inventory is one of the largest assets for manufacturing companies. To determine its value, they need to know how much inventory they have at the end of each reporting period. They also need to have an efficient inventory control, since inventory inaccuracies can result in delayed orders and unhappy customers. Most of the businesses have established procedures for counting inventory that allow them to achieve their goals. But to remain competitive in an increasingly competitive world, they must boost operational and processes efficiency wherever possible. Let's see how we can increase efficiency and productivity when it comes to stock counting. We can count inventory in one of two ways, through the yearly physical count or through more frequent cycle counts. With physical count, we do full inventory count once or twice a year and count every single item in stock. With cycle count, we conduct partial inventory counts on a continuous basis. Both types of counts allow us to achieve the same goal but have some differences. Physical count is a solid process that allows to establish accurate inventory records and provides data on inventory variances. The big downside of such full inventory count is that it's very time-consuming and labor-intensive. It also requires you to temporarily shut down company operations in QED. You cannot process through the system any shipment, received, or inventory transfer transactions. For businesses operating 24-7, full physical count is not the most cost-efficient or easy-to-execute method of inventory count. Cycle counting process is more labor and time efficient. You select for counting only a set of items and do not interrupt company operations. Cycle counting can be done daily or weekly and can free you from a need to perform full physical inventory counts. In both of these processes, there are steps that technology cannot help with. For example, physically going to a certain area in the warehouse and counting all boxes or pallets on the shelf. But what technology can help with is making obtaining of information where to go and what to count as well as processing count results more efficient. With this goal in mind, we had interfaced physical count and cycle count functions in QED with Excel and created two data loaders. Let's look closer at how they work and how you can increase stock counting process efficiency by using them. Physical count data loader allows you to review tags created for physical inventory count and enter tag count results into QED. Let's assume I'm an accounting person responsible for physical inventory count this year. 
before performing physical inventory in QED, I need to clean up any tags left from the previous inventory counts and ensure that QED users are prevented from creating inventory transactions in QED for the duration of physical count. This is where I might need to get some help from IT to block access to menus that generate inventory transactions. After that, I need to perform inventory freeze in QED, which will be a snapshot of inventory balances prior to start of the actual count, and then generate uh, and print count tags. Tags are distributed between people who will be doing the count, and the actual counting process begins. It is usually the most time-consuming part of physical inventory. The most stressful part, though, will be when I will start collecting all the tags and enter account results into QED. Should I start entering tag counts results from the first team? If third team didn't finish the account yet, do I have all the tags? How many tags are missing? Is this handwritten number on the tag is 36 or 86? Had I already entered this tag into QED or not? I can cross some of these worries off my list by entering count results with physical count data loader. With it, I can download tags into Excel, enter results from the physical tags, and process them in groups or all together. First, I need to tell the loader what QD database I will be connecting to. And now I can download all encountered tags or only tags for a specified number age. I can also limit download by site, location, uh, range of item numbers or lots. Then I need to enter my QD user ID and password. and we'll get into Excel tags that I had requested. I see quantity on hand for each tag and its frozen quantity. I can compare them to the counted quantity from the tag that I will be entering. So let's enter a couple of results. For example, 900, 150, 700, so that's what I've entered so far, and since it's Excel, I can put some formulas here and see if there are any differences. All right, so I see if my count results, if count results from the tags are different from what I have in the system. The loader gives me also instant access to uh, tag details in QED and works as a reporting and maintenance tool in one. For each item, I can check for transaction activity on the account date. Um, and for each tag, I can look at the count results and see if um, the tag quantity has been already entered in the system. Once I enter a counted quantity, I just need to click on Upload, and within seconds, these numbers will be uploaded into QED. Now I can download another set of data, or another set of tags to be processed. and enter them in a similar way. Easy, right? I can dramatically reduce time I need to enter count results and leave the office satisfied with the job not only well done, but done efficiently. This was a short demo of how you can use physical count data loader to enter count results into QD and to use your resources more efficiently. When it comes to cycle count process, the efficiency increasing potential is even more significant. Unless you use a dedicated barcode application to enter count results into QED, the process of entering counted quantities is tedious and time consuming, especially if you count a large number of inventory records. 
Cycle count data loader is a fast and efficient tool to input cycle count results. It allows you to you both produce list of items to count or a worksheet for recording count results and record the quantities counted and adjust quantities on hand. The worksheet is a turnaround document. Once uh, printed and given to warehouse personnel, they will use it to record cycle counts and then return it to person who is authorized to enter results into QED. The worksheet can be generated in a number of ways. You use selection criteria in the header to pick items for cycle count. And download the data has all the information about items that needs to be counted and the current system quantity on hand, which is helpful when you will be entering cycle count results. Um, if you don't want this information to appear on the cycle count worksheet, you can hide the system quantity column before printing it. And then print the worksheet. So this is the worksheet that will go to the uh, warehouse. So once printed, you give it to warehouse personnel and wait for the results to come back. Once you receive the results, you will enter them in the Excel spreadsheet. So let's enter, let me unhide the quantity. Let's enter, for example, count results here. Once you're done, click on the upload and cycle count data loader will first validate enter data and then will try to enter cycle count results as an initial count into QED. If count matches the system quantity on hand or if the difference is within predefined error tolerances, QED will accept submitted quantities and update inventory balances. If initial count is rejected, for example due to tolerance uh, limit as in my example, you need to determine if not a physical count for the item needs to be taken or you can override the tolerance and any location restriction by entering quantities as a recount. So I will upload only these lines and attempt the upload again. QED will change the inventory balances to be equal to the quantities counted. To summarize, both physical and cycle count data loader allow you significantly improve inventory count process by easily performing massive updates of count results in QD without any IT help and by running cycle counts more frequently, you can greatly improve inventory data accuracy. Easy to use Excel spreadsheets of data loaders and real-time access to QED inventory data helps to increase productivity and reduce errors. Um, now I will be happy to answer your questions, but first I will pass control back to Denise so she can help me by facilitating this part of the webinar. Thank you, Denise. If you please can take over the screen control. Uh, those here today can consider him or herself in the know as we are sharing an inside scoop. In the 32Soft Lab, a direct load solution has been created for this, the 3.14, and the beta is in production. A direct load type of solution has been requested repeatedly over time, so we are really excited about the fantastic feedback we're receiving. So stay tuned for more information on the direct load project. 
Um, we can go ahead and give you some information on what we have coming up, too. We have QAD Explore in just two weeks. We are a sponsor again this year, and we look forward to another great event. So if anyone is attending the Explore convention, please be sure to stop by and say hello. We also have our upcoming webinars that are scheduled. Here's a look. In May, Olena the Excellent returns for production data maintenance. Olena will show how easily you can achieve a quantifiable productivity boost. And in June, you won't want to miss another of our do-it-yourself webinars. You can learn from Alex, our fearless founder, how to automate your supplier schedule email distribution. And then in July, Christian is going to demonstrate a very clever way to augment QAD tables to accommodate supplemental data. Registration is open for all three of these webinars. I'm going to take another quick look for any additional questions before we move on. And we did not receive any additional questions, but again, keep them com coming and we will include the answers when we send the Encore email, which, as Alex mentioned, we follow up as soon as it's available, typically within about a week. So keep an eye out for your Encore email, which will link directly to the replay and the questions and answers. The Encore also has links to explore and each of our webinars through July. So just scroll down to the end where you can always find our upcoming events. Alex or Elena, unless either of you has anything else, we can... I do. Looks like... Okay. Uh, just to, to remind that, um, just want to mention that uh, uh, both of these programs are available for a free 60-day trial. So if anybody is interested, so just you need to uh, uh, send us an uh, email and uh, we'll work with you to install the trial. Thank you very much. Thanks, Alex. Alex, good reminder. And you can reply to the Encore email or uh, just reach out in any way most convenient. And I did do another check, and we don't have any additional questions for today. So, Elena, you must have done a fantastic job explaining things. Final thought. Spring is the time of plans and projects. So in addition to your plans for immaculate inventory, this Friday is International Mother Earth Day as recognized by the United Nations. I will be tree planting. Planting anything is an easy way to participate and really fun to do with kids as well. So um, that about wraps it up for today's webinar. We do want to thank you all very much for joining us and hopefully we'll see you again soon either in person at Explore or right back here for another webinar. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.